Morning, everybody. I have another Ameritron AL811 in for repair. I'll go over everything that I see that I need to uh, fix, and at the end, I will show anything that I missed in this video. So, first off, this is an oldie. It was made in 1991, which is good. Nothing wrong with an oldie. So it has the upgraded parasitic board. This was bought directly from the guy who designed it. The customer put it in and it's like he just wrapped the, uh, the enamel wire around it. He didn't strip the coating off, so I'll have to carefully scrape that off and solder it. He did a modification, that same person who got the board from. Uh, I don't know if he sells it or just suggests it, but a dual speed fan so I'm going to zip tie the wiring I checked that it works so I'll leave it alone I'm going to add the gas discharge tubes at the socket uh, between one side and the fill each side of the filament and ground all three tube filaments are in parallel so you only need one per side I take the shaft out take the wall out it does not have the bias diodes so um, by dropping the static plate current, I've said before, um, you'll have less uh, power consumption to bias the tubes on, um, run more efficient, and are stable. Okay, so SO239s look good, meter protection diode, I short it, so I'll replace that, and uh, I'll report back when it's all done, so stay tuned. See you guys soon. I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811. I'll go over everything I did real quick. So, change the meter protection diode, brand new one. The For the fan kit the customer installed, I, I got the wiring out from underneath the capacitors and brought it on the other side of these standoffs and Zip tied it really well, so it's not flapping around. Also over here, took the wall out, added the diodes back there, secured them to the wall, to the circuit board. Added the gas discharge tubes down there. Compressed the socket clips, tightened up on a bunch of hardware. Did the 10 meter modification. Clean the rotary switches with the oxid gold really well. Clean the TR slash bias relay with the oxid gold really well. Tested it on all the bands. So this thing is all set. If you need me to look at something, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. More to come. <laughs> Lots more. And for those waiting on the multi-band amp, I'm waiting on the sprockets, two sprockets, and the ladder chain so I can get the output vacuum variables. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Get the output vacuum variables connected to the turns counters for the front panel so I can get back on that. So I can't wait till that's done. I want to get that off my bench and it'll probably get pushed in the corner <laughs> probably never use it but um, that's what happens when you work on lots of amps you don't want to use them in your free time <laughs> okay so thanks for watching and I'll be back again next week today's Friday TGIF catch you later